one of the bill the first off kind of looking at how students respond to uh, hypothesis uh, and so I put together uh, a list of uh, unsolicited student thoughts and I thought there's a couple that I really want to highlight here uh, these are basically uh, students who will chime in on uh, my announcements, a couple uh, twice weekly announcements. I'll just put comments in, and these are basically where the comments come from. Um, and so this is kind of really interesting, right? The, the hypothesis assignments were fun. I enjoyed the various components and seeing people's thoughts and opinions while reading. Looking forward to this week. Um, I love this comment here. Include more articles. When have we heard that? I mean, seriously, include more articles with this class. I seem to enjoy your readings and always left me wanting more. And that's coming from someone that would always say reading sucks. <laughs> And so I, I consider that a, a win. Uh, and it says, uh, I'm always ex I'm excited to tackle the assignments. I enjoy the annotations on the narrative. It's interesting to read the insights of our various students. Um, and it just comes in over and over and over uh, that we're seeing students really take to hypothesis in these big, big ways. Uh, and uh, in my conversations with, with students, one of the things I've really realized that the value of hypothesis is it allows me to decenter authority within the classroom. Uh, one of the, I think students, in my experience, in my conversations, they tend to show up in the classroom not having done the reading. I'm like, well, why didn't you do the reading? Well, I didn't know if I was doing it right. I'm, you know, uh, and, and that's so super frustrating to me. Uh, but I realize that uh, with our educational system and the really kind of top-down um, lecture format, students have aren't reading because they generally don't have to because they'll show up in a classroom and the teacher will say everything that uh, the teacher wants to say and that authority is they're kind of gri gripping onto that authority uh, to, as a life raft. Uh, so with hypothesis, I set a culture up almost immediately in the classroom that there are no right or wrong answers. I'm not after an end game of uh, making sure did you get it right, <laughs> you know. Uh, what I do is I, I set up the same type of rent uh, reader apprenticeship that Marites does with the same kind of response strategies very early on. Uh, and then I encourage them to comment to one another and I take a step back. It really allows me to go into the background uh, and act as a cheerleader. And so I'm able to practice appreciative response uh, and, and really highlight when students are uh, saying amazing things, some many times not something that I would never have even considered. Uh, and so uh, we're able to then kind of build on these amazing, amazing ideas throughout the course. Uh, 